respect people. Sterling Ridge. I remember like it wasn't getting much humidity, it wasn't getting all the humidity out. Mm -hmm. And so it's been acting like this probably for the last maybe a couple of weeks. Oh, and, and so, I'm sorry, man, I know exactly what you're saying. You had to leak in the evaporator core. Oh, exactly, okay. yeah, I know you meet a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. I just remember yeah. you and I remember talking yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah, uh, what, what ever happened with that? Because it seemed like we put a work order in. I think I charged it up. I don't know. Yeah, like, yeah. It, it, worked, it worked fine, actually. Okay. What you did, you charged it up. I think it was a slow leak that uh -huh. we found. Yeah. But we ended up, obviously, buying this yeah. place, so we, we got out. Okay. But I just remember that, so I don't know if it could be the same thing with this yeah. or maybe something else. It might else. be something else. Yeah, it could be something yeah. else. Yeah, so. Okay. Um, I can, yeah, we can, yeah. We can so, go over So, what about the thermostat? That's part of the You want to start a thermostat? Yeah, yeah let's go in and we can do that. It's just it's not kicking the humidity down like maybe it'll be down to 58%. Oh, okay. And I know it's been doing these last couple days. Mm -hmm. It's not actually like getting yeah. exactly yeah. a damp in here. Mm -hmm. I know it's humid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and then I can show you up here where the unit is. Yeah. And, and well, then, actually, it's not gonna be super hot up here. And then uh, just the outside unit. How do I get to the outside? Oh, you want to do the outside? Yeah, let me let me get the where is it? It's on yeah, let me get the key around the other side. Okay. All right, folks, let's see what we got here. It's not too bad up here. Yeah. Compared to my house in Oh, yeah. Plenty of room. Really nice. Yeah. Back and then.
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and check the capacitor, but we're gonna do a leak search. Get that screw there out of there. But still got good access. Man, that's very good. Oh, we're going with the imp. Uh, A bunch of oil over here, folks. All right, folks, so it's tons of oil residue up in here, as you can see. I don't know how shiny that is, but all that is refrigerant oil, so um, I'm gonna quote on replacing this. Let's see if we can get this one out of here. All right, folks, so I'm just charging the unit up. I gave the customer a proposal, good, bad, and best. The customer uh, opted to just charge the unit up, so that's what I'm doing now. All right. I'm about to get that sub cooling. We do got a TXZ. I'm going to shoot for an eight degree sub cooling. All right, I already got that purge. Go for an eight degree sub cooling. I like I like to try my 410A real slow. But we're gonna be watching that uh sub cooling. We for an eight degree sub cool. All right, folks, so I'm just charging the unit up right now. The homeowner elected to go with just a refill. Uh, I have a chart signed my your little uh, leak policy form. She dated for 12. So they know we sent them a proposal to replace that evaporator coil. So 
So if they get tired of I'm just refilling it. So we refill as long as they want to. I do not mind at all. But you gotta pay to refill or you got monthly payments. If it helps you out, you get the evaporator for it changed out. But anyway, you got a pretty much a perfect charge on that. We are looking for All right, folks, so we're looking for eight degrees of cooling. That's pretty much dead on. Been running for about 12 minutes. We on to the next. 